cool. So today we're with the uh, OLPR Lady Piece. Hi guys. Hi. How are, are you doing? Hello. Oh, we're great. 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 Yeah. You speak French a little? I'm good. I'm good. Good. <laughs> How goes the tour so far? That's it, bon. C'est bon? Oui. Yeah. Um, uh, you call you call this tour an evening with, and you propose two sh two nights, two shows. Uh, where did the idea come from? We were uh, up in Banff doing a show, and we were talking about we have we were just finishing. We toured, I think, the U.S. for about five months, and we were trying to figure out what we we're going to do different for Canada because we wanted to do something different. So, the idea of doing a, a full record came up, and then we couldn't agree that night on on uh, what records we were going to do. And so we put it on our website, and everyone was very excited about it. And they picked, it was literally, they picked Clumsy and Spiritual Machine. Right. So the fans spoke, and we listened. Spiritual Machine is a concept album. Are you surprised that the fans choose this one? No. No? No. The Spiritual Machines, people that love that record usually hate everything else we do. <laughs> and uh, which is fine, but I, I knew that they would. I knew a lot of people would be very passionate about that record. So it's a good mix because you know Clumsy was a bigger record, and I don't know. It, it's just a they're very different nights, yeah. which is good. Yeah. It's two different albums, two yeah. very different records, and um, yeah, and, I, and it's also it's kind of like some people have been buying tickets for both shows. So if you come to, it's kind of like four shows you mm -hmm. get to see. Yeah. You got You have to think of the uh, spiritual machines and clumsy as basically the opening band, because we don't have an opening band, okay. right? So essentially, the album is the opener, and then we go take a, a break and come back and do a full Our Lady Peace show. So if you come to the spiritual machines night, you get some songs from Clumsy in the second set, and if you come to the clumsy night, you get some spiritual machine songs in the second set. So it's a pretty cool, all inclusive evening. Yeah, I saw you on stage a couple of times, and it will be my first time with live complete version. Because uh, everything, uh, every every time you do a Navi mix with life, is that the first time you will do live full full song on stage? Not the first time, but no? we've actually really fell in love with that song again because we've been playing it every night and and uh, yeah, I, it's it's one of those things you you don't play stuff for a while and then you know a few years later you start playing them again. You have a, a renewed appreciation for the song. So I think everyone's there's a bunch of songs like that that we're all really loving again. And on those two albums, there is some song you never play on stage. Yeah, and you have to repractice, relearn yeah. those songs. Oh my god! Because yeah, all, uh, my, all my friends, we never played uh, all my friends before. from Spiritual Machines. From Spiritual yeah. Machines, uh, never, ever, not since we recorded in the studio. <laughs> and uh, on the band, there is some uh, band band member would change uh, between Clumsy and now. So uh, right, yeah. you have to learn the song? Steve, yeah, I mean, but he's such a great guitar player. He was able to, he kills it. It's amazing. You know what, if we didn't have Steve, we probably would have had to hire like another, a fifth yeah. member to play stuff. But he's just great, great musician. Yeah, so. and he's brought a new life and a new energy to these songs. And it's infectious and it's... Uh, yeah, he's been in yeah. the band now longer than our other guitar players. So, he, mm -hmm. and, yeah, he's recorded on almost four records now. So he's, you know, he's, uh, he's doing great. Your album Burn Burn came out last summer. I, I read on the internet you're already wor working on a new one. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. We kind of we got back ownership of our masters, and, and so what it does now is just lets us make music whenever we want. You know, Not, and we have nothing bad to say with, with, with Sony because we we were, did great work with Sony for many years. But now that we can put out records whenever we want and stop touring when we you know before it was like you make a record. You went on the road for two years, come back and make another record. And it was just, it, it just felt, uh, if you look at a painter or a, anyone that's in the arts besides a musician signed to a major label, you're, you're, you're free to do what you want. You know, you paint every day if you want. If you don't like it, you burn it. With music, it was, it was never that for us once we signed with a major label. So now it feels like we got back the real creative processes is uh, back intact again with the band. So it's... Yeah, there's a lot of music already brewing. Three years ago, you work on a solo album. Yep. Is there any change we can air a song from your solo project on a whole LP show? No. No? No, it's two things <laughs> different. And do you, uh, you you like the, this experience? The difference of my solo record? Yeah. I do, yeah. It's kind of... When I when I was in, you know, in college and, and when I first started in Our Lady Peace, poetry was a big part of me. And But then, you, you know, the way we wrote songs with Our Lady Peace... Any any pages of poetry I had to fit them into a song, they'd always get chopped up, and and that that piece of work would be compromised to kind of 
beyond recognition in a song format. So what I try to do with my solo stuff is make the words the first and foremost thing and, and, and not have them be cut up. So it's I approach music completely differently when I do my solo stuff. And with OLP after seven album, which song represent the most the band? Because you have wow. two, a you lot really, of um, you want to ask that question? Yeah. No. <laughs> It's kind of impossible. It's a hard yeah. question. I mean, there's songs that we that resonate. Yeah, that continue be, to resonate. It'll be tough to not play. You know, it's we didn't play Navid in the show the other night, and it feels weird not playing Navid sometimes. Um, Yeah, there's a half. I mean, In Repair is a song. There's, a, there's a, a new song uh, off Burn Burn called Paper Moon that I think will resonate with us for a very long time. We've ever since we started touring, we have we haven't not played it. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. There's there's about ten songs that really, I think, help define what we are in our own heads. But you know, it, it's kind of that's the best thing about music. Everyone has their own opinion, and it's mm -hmm. very, you know, subjective. So um, I'm sure people feel differently about different songs. Last summer you came here in Ottawa to present your new album and you filmed part of the show with a flip cam. Uh, it's that for a DVD, web, personal? You know what? I had it in my pocket almost by accident and I climbed up on the scaffolding when yeah. we did the thing and I don't know, there was like 35,000 people there and I was like, oh my god, I got my flip. So I pulled it out and, and I taped it and uh, I don't, did we put it on the website? YouTube, uh. We put it on YouTube and it, yeah, it was just this amazing, you know, it was... The crowd was phenomenal yeah. in the summer. It was just, I think we'll always remember that show. It was, it was kind of at the beginning of this record, so it was a great way to start everything. One week before the album. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's it was. Right. Yeah, the record wasn't even out. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, public here. Uh, do you have any question to ask to the band? No. No? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's okay. Tu veux te poser une question? Moi, j'en ai une question. First of all, it's an honor to meet you guys. Actually, my first show that I uh, seen with you guys is opening up for uh, Van Halen. Oh wow! In '94, oh, wow. <laughs> a while back here. Um, now that you guys are uh, doing the full album, clumsy and all that, and uh, spiritual, for you guys coming back to these songs after so many years, how do you approach them now? Versus like how. Did your feelings change and all that towards the songs and how you're playing them on stage live? You know, when we're looking at so many years back, how, how's the feeling now playing well, again all I, these songs? I think one of the major things is we've all really grown as musicians. So uh, when we first recorded Clumsy, I, I know it was uh, at times a bit of a struggle to play it properly. <laughs> and uh, uh, But now, with, with as we mentioned earlier, with Steve in the band, um, There's a there's a new life and and uh, a new energy that we bring to the songs and and uh, the songs that that perhaps you may have thought you'd forgotten about um, are just they resonate more like a song like if you believe I think that's a song that I'd like to continue playing for a long time and we haven't played if you believe in what eight years yeah wow. yeah I think it's going to make the other tours that we do um, more interesting because we'll be able now with that we know two other records like all the songs we'll be able to pick songs now because before it was we couldn't just do that we'd have to go you know take a, it was a big task and you know mentally you think oh my god i have to learn that song again but now we just know them so to throw in a song like if you believe or all my friends or some deep tracks from spiritual machines or clumsy it'll be really easy now but also for me as a i think as you grow as a musician you you know you you try to grow and you spread your wings and you and you leave some of those things behind that you were And for me, it's been a really great learning experience to play these two records and kind of get back or just relearn some of the things that I used to do as a vocalist. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that'll influence the, the next recordings. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And, you know, after so many years as well, I know that you guys now are working with new artists and stuff like that. I know with you, you well, Our Lady Peace in general, especially you, Rain, you know, you guys have a connection with even an American Idol Uh, winner David Cook, and uh, you've been working on some tracks with him on his first album and mm -hmm. stuff like that. What advice do you give for new people, new new artists coming in this industry? Stay in now? school. Stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in school. Kidding. Produce your own album. I mean, <laughs> I, in yeah, it, it's a very interesting time in the music business because the business is kind of falling apart. So, you know, I, I honestly say that if you know anyone that I meet and I work with, if if you want to be in music you got to do it for the love of music because you know selling millions of records and and uh, you know riding in limousines and planes and all that stuff it's 
it doesn't happen much anymore, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's it has to be for the love of the art, and and if that's why you're doing it, then more power to you. Cool. Excellent. Tonight, tonight is the clumsy show. Yes. Tomorrow, spiritual machines. Yes. Have a great time here in Ottawa. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.